What do you get when you cross a filter and a mediocre superhero? Hmm, I don't think that really works. Well, the Sawyer Mini water filter, of course. Is this little wonder gadget the ultimate sidekick to any adventurer? Does it filter out all sorts of waterborne villains like E. coli and Salmonella with ease? Grab your capes, folks, and let's see what this little guy has to offer. Now, I want all of you guys to watch the beginning, middle, and end, because if you were a contestant in my subscriber giveaway, I'm gonna be releasing the video of who actually won the giveaway. Now, remember, in order to be the actual winner of this giveaway, you do need to be a subscriber, and you needed to have commented on that video. So, let's get into it. First off, let's see what the Sawyer Mini is all about. This compact water filtration system is perfect for backpackers, hikers, and anyone who needs access to clean drinking water while on the go. The filter weighs just two ounces and it can fit in the palm of your hands. It's designed to filter up to 100,000 gallons of water, so you can use it for years on end. Now let's take a look at the key features and specifications that the Sawyer Mini water filtration system holds. One of the standard features is its ability to filter out 99.99999% of bacteria and protozoa like Cryptosporidium, Giardia, E. coli, and Salmonella. However, it does not remove heavy metals, chemicals, or viruses. This means that you can drink from most streams, lakes, and other water sources without having to worry about getting sick. Another great feature is the included straw which makes it easy to drink directly from the filter. Now, how does the Sawyer Mini actually fare while on an adventure? Here's an example from one of my past videos. The first thing I noticed is how easy it is to set up and use. I attached the filter to my water bottle and started pumping water through the filter. The flow rate was surprisingly fast at the start, and I was able to fill up my water bottle in under a minute. I then took a sip of the filtered water, and I have to say, the filtered water tastes almost identical to regular bottled water. That being said, I was drinking from the beautiful crystal clear lakes in Algonquin Park. I continued to use it throughout my camping trip, and after a few bottles, I needed to backwash the filter. Once you notice the Sawyer Mini slowing substantially, it's a good sign to backwash, which is very easy to do. I will say that after many adventures with the Sawyer Mini, I am actually looking for an alternative water filtration system. When backcountry camping, water is crucial because you don't bring water in, you have to filter it as you find it. After a few days, the nature of squeezing the bottle really takes a toll on your fingers and hands. It's gotten to a point now where I'm looking to buy the pump style water filter. I understand that the alternative water filtration systems are much more expensive and much bulkier. However, I have the backpacking experience now to be okay with taking a little bit of extra weight. It's recommended that if you are giving this some heavy use, you should clean it out about every six months. In order to clean it, you should fill up a bowl with hot water, add a little bit of vinegar, and let this filter soak for about 10 minutes. Once it's done, give it a shake, push the water through, and let it dry out. Let's get into the good stuff, the pros and cons. Pros. This product is very lightweight and compact. Weighing just in at 2 ounces and small enough to fit in the palm of your hand, the Sawyer Mini is incredibly portable. High quality filtration. The filter is designed to remove 99.9999% of bacteria and protozoa. Versatile. The Sawyer Mini comes with a straw and it can also be attached to a water bottle, hydration bladder. I prefer using the smart water bottles because the smart water bottles have a lid and attached to that lid they have this nipple end and that actually fits perfectly on this making it very easy to squeeze the water. Durable. The filter is built to last and can filter up to 100,000 gallons of water. Last but not least, this is probably the cheapest water filtration system you'll find online. I bought this for around $25. Cons. Slow flow rate. While the flow rate of the Sawyer Mini filter is generally fast enough for individual use, it can be slower than most other filtration systems on the market. This can make it challenging if you need to filter larger quantities of water. Clogging issues. Over time, the filter can become clogged with debris and sediment, which can slow down the flow rate and make it more difficult to use. This means you'll need to continuously clean the filter in order to keep it functioning properly. It's very tiring and can cause both thumb pain and hand cramping. Limited filtration capability. The Sawyer Mini is designed to remove bacteria and protozoa, but it is not effective against viruses, chemicals, heavy metals, or other contaminants. All right, we're gonna interrupt this review. We're gonna switch over to my computer and see who the winner is of the giveaway. What's going on, guys? We are here and looking to figure out who the winner is. We are going to see Uh, winner straw one. All right, only seven. What? That's all good. Let's see, winner. Else. Hey, Shane, you are the winner. Oh, and you're not from too far away. Great, awesome. Okay, thank you very much. Well, claim your prize. Just shoot me a message, and I will send you off that gift card. So, thank you very much for joining in. I really appreciate it. 
I guess you're my very first entrant, so very cool. Thank you very much, and uh, let me know what you get with that gift card. I know it's not a lot, but uh, you know, YouTube doesn't pay me, and each one of my videos actually costs me quite a bit of money, um, especially the ones where I go away. So um, I can only do a $10 giveaway. I'm hoping to do more. You know, once I'm partnered um, with YouTube, and if the world will have it and I start to get more popular, then I would love to do more of these giveaways. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Make sure you contact me and I will send that gift card off to you. Thank you very much. All right, guys, we will see you on the next one. That's awesome, Shane. Thank you very much for commenting, subscribing, and actually entering into the giveaway. I'm so happy that you actually did all that and you get rewarded. So thank you very much for that and congratulations. And I hope you're there on the next one because there are going to be more giveaways. There will be more in the future uh, once I get monetized. Uh, each of my videos, like I said, it, they're very expensive, um, especially the ones where I go away. So I'm hoping that once I get monetized, I can do this quite a bit more. Thanks again, Shane. Hey, you. Have you gone this far yet? Have you hit the like button? Have you thought about subscribing? Have you commented whether or not you like this product? I think you should. It really helps out the channel. All right, let's talk about my experiences. Like I said before, I've had this product for well over three years, and both Dina and I have got some fantastic use out of it. And it's treated us very well on our shorter adventures. It's also very nice because it's very small, so when we're not canoeing and we're actually just backpacking, it makes our packs much lighter. However, on my five day adventure, after my third and fourth day, especially on my fifth day when I was trying to get water, both my fingers and my hands were cramping a lot, causing some unneeded pain. And I actually started to cringe every time that I needed water, knowing that it would take that long and cause that much issues with my hands. I do really like its portability and its weight. However, the cringe factor is creeping up on me and I'm actually looking for an alternative water filtration system. I'm looking at picking up one of the MSR pump filters. That one you just have to keep pushing down as opposed to squeezing so it's a little bit easier on your fingers. And I do realize that these filters are much more expensive. They are much more bulky and they do come in weighing quite a bit more. However, I'm at that point in my backpacking experience where I'm willing to sacrifice a bit more weight in order to not have to cringe every time I need water. So the big question. Is the Sawyer Mini water filter worth your money and would I recommend it? I would say potentially. It's honestly a game changer for beginner backcountry campers who are just looking to spend one night, maybe two nights at a time out in the woods. With its compact size, portability, ease of use, and how easy it is to backwash, this is definitely a must have for beginners. I would not recommend this product for people who are expecting to camp with bigger groups or avid campers who are expecting to stay out for weeks at a time. When you're not bringing water and you have to filter your own water for both drinking and cooking, product is not worth it for extended periods. It just doesn't have the capacity to filter a larger amount of water with ease. So if you're a beginning backcountry camper and you're in the market for a reliable, lightweight, and portable water filtration system for individual use, then the Sawyer Mini is definitely for you. However, do your own research because there may be an alternative product that might be a little bit better for you. Thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one. So you can stick it in. And you can use it like this. That's not too bad.